These Polish rowers have just landed in Japan, and they're worried. We are scared about the clothes in the hotel rooms. <laughs> it's like in the prison, so. Not allowed to have any contact with the local population, the life of these athletes in Tokyo is restricted to the sports bubble. Without any spectators to cheer them on, playing to these empty stands will be tough, and Tokyo's hot and humid weather will not make it any easier. With the government strongly recommending that bars not serve alcohol, they can't even count on a beer to quench their thirst. <laughs> we were expecting a very lively atmosphere, but when we tell people we don't serve alcohol, they just cancel. It's really tough. Restaurants are told to shut at 8 p.m., making it difficult for people to go out and have a good time, even in Shibuya, which is known for its nightlife. Shibuya is usually very exciting, very busy, but I get the feeling that people are not letting go. It's much quieter these days. Some try and stay positive. 13-year-old Kuranosuke took on his grandfather's mantle when he died in 2019. His grandpa was affectionately known as Uncle Olympics. He had attended every Games since 1964. This is the jacket that my grandfather used to wear. He used to go to the Olympic stadiums at every game. And me, I'm going to do the same thing, even though it means watching the games from home. But even with the games on TV, he would have been happy. He is sure to watch the Olympics from up there. <laughs> Few Japanese are as interested in watching these games. With around 2,000 new COVID infections per day, Tokyo is hoping these Olympics will not lead to clusters of infection, putting the city and country at risk.